At the end, I have people all the time, they're like, well, every time I keep getting this objection, I'm like, dude, nobody likes you. It's just the truth. Nobody does like you, right? So I'm going to tell you this. Tomorrow, we're going to train hard. We're going to talk about language, new words, strategies, arsenal of closes, things that you can say whenever you get your back against the wall. Also, relationships kill objections. If your people love you, they probably won't hit you with some bullshit. At the end, I have people all the time, they're like, well, every time I keep getting this objection, I'm like, dude, nobody likes you. It's just the truth. Nobody does like you, right? Because listen, man, it's really hard for someone, think about it. If you really like somebody, isn't it hard for you to ask for a better deal at the end? You know what I mean? Because you want the product, they've earned the right to ask for it, they ask for it, you know you're gonna buy it from them. Even though you slide it in and ask, if they handled it right, you'd say yeah. Then sometimes you're afraid to even ask and you look over to your husband or your wife or even yourself and you're like, yeah, let's just do it, man. You know what I'm saying? I want it, they've been great, let's do it. That is called a position and a posture, that's called the tactical advantage in negotiating. How many times do you find yourself in that tactical advantage? Not enough. You could be there every single time. So whenever people say, Andy, hey, how'd you make 700 grand a year selling cars? Number one, I say, do you really want to know or are you just asking? Because a lot of people will ask how somebody did something and then when they tell them, they won't do anything with it. If you really want to know, tomorrow I'm going to teach you how to do it. But I'm going to tell you, training isn't something that you did. It's something that you do every single day for the rest of your life. Every day. People, use it or lose it. It's very simple. You learned some word tracks three months ago, you don't know it today. You know why? You haven't practiced it. You wanna be the best in the world, what do you do for a living? You speak. Everything you guys get in your life is with this mouth. Every single, th every single thing is the way that you speak and the way you talk to people. Okay, we could add a couple more things like work ethic, like how you plan your day and shit like that. But really at the end of the day, how you ask and the way that you talk is what you'll get. How many of you guys have the same old language and you've even made more money? Look, I want you to think about it. Guys, the market's up 300%, okay? The market's through the roof. Are trades higher than ever? Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Has it ever been easier to trade somebody out of a car? Never. Okay, I'm gonna ask you this. Remember in the past when people were 10 grand flipped and you had to get three or four or five grand cash down just to trade them out to have a deal that was making nothing? You guys don't have to fight through that anymore right now. Also on top of that, are cars retailing through the roof? Yeah, that means commissions are bigger than ever. If you could do great and hold on people's trades, are the trades worth more? Do you think the customers know the trades are worth more? Not really. If you did a good job, you could do what? Hold on trades bigger than ever. So you could underallow on trades, retail prices are through the roof, you guys could be making $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 commission per car. Even if you're in a flat base commission place in your company right now, then you could literally outsell everybody because if customers loved you, everybody would buy from you. It's a unified front between all car dealerships right now. If everybody has to pay all the money at every store, can they drive across the street and get a better deal? No, they can't. So who do you think they're gonna buy from if they know they can't get a better deal? Who they like? Guys, right now's the time to be better than ever. Here's the good news. We're in the era of the worst salesman in the history of time. Salespeople have never sucked like they do right now. I'm gonna tell you the good news. 2021, a lot of people made more money than they've ever made in their life. They're running around heavy wallets. They think it was them and it wasn't. It was the market. They're confused. When this market shifts, those people are gonna commit mental suicide because they won't know how to keep up. They've already went and spent all their money that they made. They bought a lot of shit. Since they don't have the skill to keep up when the market goes back bad, you know what they'll do? They'll quit. They'll quit. They're done. They're gonna blame it on the industry. They're gonna say the car business sucks. When really they suck and they didn't, they didn't keep up and keep learning new skills every year. So I wanna tell you this. I really think everybody in this year, everybody in this room, if anybody is thinking they wanna earn under 500 grand this year, under, you're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. You need to get your damn standards up, okay? I'm gonna tell you this, you're never gonna get this wave again. A surfer waits for a 100 year wave. When the wave comes, no matter where in the world it is, they get in their car, they get their surfboard and they take off. They're willing to die on that wave. They've waited their whole life for that wave. Guys, that wave is here. And I'm gonna tell you this, I know at least we got one more year of it, at least. And the truth of it is, is that look, if we get another year, oh my God. But what if we screw up this year and we don't give it everything we got and you guys didn't pay off your houses, you guys didn't pay off your cars, you guys didn't put hundreds of thousand dollars in your bank, you're never gonna get it again. Okay, there are stories that are talked about in life and this is gonna be one of them and you're living in it. Listen, when people, when, when, when the Holocaust was going on, when the Cold War was going on, when certain things happened, did those people that when that was happening, did they know they were gonna be a part of history? 
No, they didn't know it. It was just like their life, like it was crazy. Guys, what you're living in right now in the auto industry will be history that will be talked about for 500 years. Hey, cars that MSRP at $60,000 sold at the auction for 70,000. What do you mean? You're saying, I don't understand. Because cars will be discounted $10,000 within two years again. Nobody will ever understand what the hell you're talking about. If I would have told you guys in 2019, 2019, when it was the old market, it was a race to the bottom, that in two years, trade-ins were gonna be worth over $12,000 more than what they were normally worth. And prices were gonna retail higher than ever and all the commissions were gonna be massive. Would you believe it? Nope, but now it's here. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? I'm just being real, okay? I think a lot of you guys, you're living in this now and since you're in the now, you don't understand it, okay? Remove yourself from the situation tonight, please. Look from outside, instead of working in the business, let's work on the business. Instead of working in your dream, work outside of the dream for a minute. And I want you to realize this, you need to raise your standards because you're never gonna get wind at the cells like this again. You have so much wind hitting your cell right now, but guess what, if you got a hole in your cell, will, will your boat move? No, you're dead.